Alright everybody, welcome to Penumbra Overture. Should be a good time. There are things I need of you. Things you may not understand. You may not wish to do. But please, do not make the same mistakes I did. My father, Howard, deserted me before I was born. I could claim the loss of my mother, and the letter I received after her funeral blinded me to what I had to do. It would be a lie. No! All right, whatever, that's fine. Try to sit there and give it the old, it's still loud. Is that a little better? That should be better for you guys. Uh, I guess, I guess we'll leave it on normal difficulty because I don't know how this is gonna be. First more of a puzzle game than combat, so I'm not too concerned with it, but. For players wanting a real challenge. Enemies can take more damage or, or faster. Yeah, you know what? I'll just play it normal. My story began in February, year 2000. God, that's almost 24 years ago at this point. That's crazy to think it's been that long. For my part in this allegory, I'm not going to make the same mistakes my father made. I would vanish from my mother's life before I was even in it. So when he sent me a letter a few days after Mom's funeral, it was the first I'd ever heard of him. Pity he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Clearly averse to explanations, my father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Of course, I went as he knew I would. I discovered that despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago, and so the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world-renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. It took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever taken. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realized my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day. And I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on the chartered boat, beginning the 12 hour journey that would lead me into my past. Dun, dun, dun. Oh yeah. Wow. This is old looking. Finally, we're almost docked. Better stow my gear. Maybe far from home. A chance I can still pick up things using left mouse button. And I can take a closer look at things using right mouse button. Whiskey. Empty. Shame. Good scientist. Always keeps pen and paper handy, just in case. I'm certain this map's a good decade or so out of date, but landmarks don't change much in Greenland, so we've got a pretty decent idea of where I'm heading. Alright, so I can... Okay, so... That, I think the torch in my left desk drawer next to the bed. Open left mouse button, okay. Ah. Oh. Whoops! Alrighty, well... You need to throw it against the wall so bad. This fog closed in on us almost as soon as we left port. Haven't seen any landmarks for ages now. I don't know how they're managing to navigate. I'd be as good as lost at sea if I was on my own. Not a thought worth thinking. Okay. Ah, oh, do we know the pin? How do we use this? Can I not? There we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Should we access it? Okay. 
really hope I didn't just waste that. Or is that always available? Okay, flashlight batteries. Okay, alrighty. Well, this looks nice, doesn't it? Dearest Eric, just a quick note before you set sail and leave me once again. I've left you a little something to remember me by in the chest at the foot of your bed. I really don't know why you still have only one bed on board. Taking shifts because of it is no way to get your rest. But what does a fisherman's wife know of a life at sea? <clears throat> I'll be praying every night for you to make the catch. Wait, what? For you to make the catch you need so that you can come home to me safely. And soon, please, don't be gone for five weeks like last time. I know I might nag sometimes, but I do love you, you know. I've washed away those, I've washed those overalls of yours. I know you'll get them covered in assorted fish parts in no time, but I still feel better knowing they've had a wash. Before I forget, the Henriksons uh, in the village have asked me to see if you'll be coming out or coming by any trout, but I said they were, how do I, like that? Mostly out of season, uh, but if you do happen upon any, don't say anything. Stow them well in the ice, and I'll do something special with them to celebrate when you come home to me. The ship's captain deserves a special treatment uh, once in a while. I'll take care of my love. Fisherman's wife love letter. Okay, nice. Shatter that real quick. I didn't he say there was... Ah, it's right here. Okay. The classic F. Alrighty. Alrighty. The... There we go. It feels a little bit better. Can I, like, get in there? I can view these things. Playboy poster. Okay. <laughs> but a fisherman's wife. She's no Playboy bunny, but she looks loving and kind. Well, I guess we best be hitting the old dusty trail, then. As I stepped off the boat, setting out into the blizzard that I had formed around me, I realized how utterly devoted I had been to the discovery of my father's past. I had no idea what to expect. Soon enough, my concerns were justified. I don't know whether I lost my orientation or my spirit first, but I lost the feeling in my extremities soon after, and I knew hypothermia was setting in. I started looking for shelter. Need shelter soon. Oh, whoa, this is weird to look at. Entire head went numb a long time ago. I can still hear the wind roaring past, or is that some kind of animal in the distance? Okay. So, I don't care, I need shelter. Looks frozen shut. Need something to break it. Hey, good thing I picked this thing up, huh? Yeah. Yeah. No, I gotta, like, open it like this. Hello? Come on. It's still frozen, apparently. Oh, I gotta walk with it. I can't. There we go. Alright, now I'm in. Into the depths we go. I can't believe I fell that far and survived. Although, looking around, maybe I didn't. What is this place? Oh, awesome, we can't get back out. Should have known that rusty ladder wouldn't hold my weight. I didn't have a choice. I'd rather die down here than suffer that cold any longer. Could be anything inside of it? Ammo boxes, huh? So, can this be used anywhere? Okay, can I, like... No. E emergency exit procedures. Okay. 
a steel rod. So yeah, can this be used wherever? Because I'd rather use this than the flashlight half the time, right? Alright. Ooh, a flare too, huh? Stuck must be something in the way. Right, I'm gonna have to go that way then. Alrighty. Fifty years. Nice. Can make a backswing and pulling the right mouse button, then follow through by pushing left. The opposite works too. Pulling back and then thrusting forward, producing a stabbing motion. Huh? Oh, I gotta like drag him around like this. Okay. Oh, this is weird. Okay, that's going to take a bit to get used to. Some more ammunition crates. Oh yeah, this is going to take... Can I break this? You can! Okay. Wow, this is these swings is gonna take a minute to get used to. If I hold right mouse button, I can look around, okay. It's a good thing I didn't play this in hard difficulty. Break this thing? Nope, apparently not. Can I... Ooh, hello. Hey, this is gonna take... This is gonna take a minute. Okay, so we got more flares. We got a lot of flares, holy cow. I just not break it enough? Oh, hold up. I see your game, you rogue. So it like loops around. All right, so that's really the only way to go then. Got it. Okay. Well, do I have another option? What's this? Industrial mechanism. Although there's a hole in the center, but no way to operate it. Well, I have a metal pipe for that. So there we go. Hello? Keep people out or in. Yeah. Are you, you, you sure you'd want to be doing this, man? Alrighty. Whatever I was descending into is hundreds of feet below ground, protected by two solid metal hatches. Located in a remote Arctic wilderness and buried beneath the snow. I didn't know what to expect, but it made me feel something I hadn't felt since I was a child. I'd never given it much thought before, but I realized that our entire society is a network of safety nets. Emergency services at the end of the phone line, health and safety in the workplace, friends, family, lovers, all there if something goes wrong, part of a carefully designed structure to prevent all but the most mundane of emotions. Once again, I felt like I did when I was in school, surrounded by a closing ring of older kids, knowing anyone that might help me. Friends, parents, teachers were too scared or too far away. Alrighty. What kind of notes are you writing down, man? There must be another way out. 
It could be anything living down here. Heroics are for Hollywood actors and fairy tales. I'm not taking any chances. If I face off against anything down here, I won't last a second. Caution and stealth are my only defenses now. If anyone or anything hears me, I'd be best staying low and out of sight until I know whether or not it's a threat. Crouching by left control will give me a chance to hide in the shadows. Um, I'll know I've got it right because of the blue tint in my vision. Plus, I should be quiet enough that I won't be heard unless something's right on top of me. Better remember to shut off any light sources, though. Okay, so... Oh, wait, I don't need that. I can... Yeah, I don't need that. I can... It's G, right? There we go. Can you guys see alright? I think you guys can see alright. Explosives, office, storage. Okay, so we're right here. So do we want to go to storage first, I guess? Seems like the logical step. Right? Maybe? Hello? more of these things. Best could be a decent hiding spot, huh? Oh, great. Okay, need red. Rusty nails. Wiring. Ooh, it's lighter. Oh, what? Thank God, maybe I can get some answers. I want the door open. my guy freaking out over, man? As long as we're quiet, they won't know we're in here. Whoa, what is this? Yeah. Painkillers, batteries. Why is it so blue? So this is also locked. Okay, so we're gonna need to find a way in there, maybe? Is there like a hidden thing around here anywhere? Nope. So I got a lighter, huh? It's empty. Awesome. Fit as can be expected. There's a draft coming from the base. Huh? Wait, so does that mean we can... There's a draft coming from the base. Can we, like, move it? I'm guessing this is what we have to do here? Yes! Genius! I knew there was something. Where the he how the heck does this thing open? Uh, there it is. That's a good sound, right? Good old classic whispering. Is 
Was there just a thing that I could look at somewhere? Or was it like weirdly glitching somewhere? There. This basement caved in some years ago. Something's tunneled through here more recently though. What sort of creature makes these markings? This was peak horror back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, spider webs. Ooh. Well, that's the way out. Don't worry, it's fine. Got it. <laughs> Is this how this works? <sighs> I feel like this is exactly what I should do, right? Yeah, there we go. Just had to flip it around, I guess. All right, let's go finish exploring, shall we? I think the glow stick actually looks a little bit better. Uh, there's a spider down here somewhere. I know it. Mother of God. Mother of God. There's, there's big spiders down here. There's like big spiders. Mummified a dog, dude. Day one. I begin this recording still in the hope that the great work we have undertaken here might one day be of scientific value, despite the chaos which has ensued in the six hours previous. My aim is to remain secure until what help there may be arrives. And to that end, I have barricaded myself into a small workshop area in the abandoned part of the mine. I hope that the meager food rations here will keep me alive and that those I hide from will not jeopardize that. Perhaps this mine is really is cursed. It's almost precisely 30 years since the incident that brought us here, and now, 30 years on, fate has struck again. Where's day two? Bro. There's so much reading. I forecasted that today the rescue crews would arrive, but I can only hypothesize that they would be unaware of my location and hence busy themselves evacuating the other survivors. If they have not arrived by tomorrow, I will go out in search of them. Day 6. My first mistake was uh, to make assumptions on the matter of rescue. My second mistake was to make assumptions on the safety of this mine. My third mistake was to act on both those assumptions in going outside of my safe haven. My best estimate is that I left the workshop where I was secured about two days ago in search of aid, and I have found only danger. I approached the old living quarters, but curiously, I find, could find no sign of life whatsoever. I returned to what I thought was the direction from which I had come, but soon found myself in an unfamiliar locale. Confused, but focused, I attempted to make my way home, but found myself threatened by some species of feral creature. It seems to have made, uh this old mine its home. Although the specimen bore significant interest to in me, I chose to retreat, only to find myself outmaneuvered and outnumbered by the beasts. I turned and ran, injuring my ankle in the process, which I now, uh, which I believe now is most likely a sprain rather than a fracture. For some time, I cowered and fled into the dark, but a few hours ago I discovered a door leading to a smaller, disused part of the mine, the key for which I still have in my pocket. Within that area, I discovered the storeroom, uh, and I think it should keep me safe for some time. This place is a maze. My lesson learned. I will not venture out again until I am certain the area is safe. Day 19. <laughs> Day 6 to 19, huh? Rescue seems increasingly unrealistic. Supply is diminishing. Lots of spiders in this place. I do not like spiders. Day 34. I caught one of those accursed egg-legged beasts nesting in my open mouth when I woke up this morning. Ugh, gross. <laughs> In my surprise, I swallowed it. It's not so much the act of swallowing which concerns me, but the genus of arachnid. It would be unlikely that a cave-dwelling spider would be venomous to any significant degree, but the possibility troubles me all the same. 
day 35. Any known venom would have affected me by now, and so today it is the first minor cause of celebration that I have had since the incident. But luckily, coincidence, uh, but lucky coincidence, this revelation also means I have discovered a virtually inexhaustible supply of nutrition. I intend to venture into the basement beneath the storeroom in the name of Sign to discover more about these creatures' natural habitat. For four days now, I've been surviving solely off the quite considerable sustenance provided by the spiders. For some time, I was struggling to gather enough of the crunchy little morsels. However, Lady Luck smiled on me once more when the batteries of my torch died, and I made a second life-saving finding. The creature's natural habitat is the dark. With my light now diminished, I need only lie still for a few minutes, and I'll have attracted enough of the beasts for a rather hearty meal. Gross. That's, uh... Yes, yeah, gross. Good job, I guess, man. Um. Alright, that's fine. Nom nom. Crunch crunch, brother. Crunch crunch. I hear the chittering. I'm lost. Is this the way I came? No. Okay, you know what? We have to go... We have to finish exploring this anyways, so... Fine. If it weren't for the size of those pieces, I would say those look like eggshells. Day 71. My earlier assumptions on the benign nature of my cellmates may have been made in error. After a careful autopsy, I'm concerned that there may be a small volume of natural chemicals stored in the stomach, which, if ingested regularly over a period of time, may become uh, psychotropic. Or even lethal. My only real chance is to break out of here and raid any stashes of supplies I can find. However, the evidence against such a move is insurmountable. One, I have no source of light. Two, I swore to myself I wouldn't leave here until I heard a human voice outside. Three, the spiders are so tasty. Day 100. Dang. Dude's been in here for a hot minute now. From the marks I've been making on the walls and my scribbled diary entries, which in the dark may amount to an ineligible scrawl, today is the hundredth day of my new life. Over the past month, my edible friends have become more and more aggressive and have swelled in number and size. Uh, whether or not this is a result of my plundering their ecosystem, I am unsure. However, at this rate of growth, uh, they will soon be too large to crawl through the gaps in the walls. For all I know, I could be seeing, only be seeing the tip of the iceberg. If all else fails, I am never recovered. Uh, I hope at least that my study of and indeed involvement with these fascinating creatures will one day be regarded as an important point uh, in natural history. The greatest names in modern science got there more uh, through fluke than talent. It appears that this rule has extended itself to my discovery of this delicious new species. I only pray that my second rule deems my breakthrough too insignificant for all great discoveries tend to consume their inventor oh, that's definitely an eggshell we go in spider killing wow, this one's the left all this left the basement storage, the lock looks rather worse for wear. But do it. Hit the lock. Atta boy. Batteries. What is that? Oh! Fuel lighter fire up now hospital gray <laughs> well now I have a lighter I'm sure I'll be dealing with spiders on the way back through the tunnel system do I think this light works better than the actual flashlight does. Ow! The fire!
Well, that sounds good. 